Uh, today we have the uh, incredible Form 1 Plus 3D printer. Um, it's a kind of special printer. It uses a liquid plastic. So it's uh, liquid resin, which is hardened by a UV light. So let's do the unpacking and then we'll have another video with some first impressions and first uh, how to's basically to do it. So let's start off with the small box. I think that's easier. It's more exciting to save the last one as well. Uh, so let's see, this is the finishing kit box. You can see here, it's what's included. So let's just make sure that we have everything. Um, how does this work? It goes all around, around here. I know you guys want to see this box, but uh, just, just hold on a moment and we'll, we'll check it out later. So there we go. So here you have the finishing box. So inside it we have a setting up guide, you can see here. It's pretty straightforward. Um, we also have two of these um, liquid boxes, actually resin tubes or tanks. Um, we'll stack those over here. We also have a little bag with accessories. Let's open that link later. We also have a big kit of gloves, that's really nice. It's actually, I'm not sure how many, we'll, we'll count them. And you also have this plate here, which is actually kind of important. Uh, so that's all in the box, I'm gonna leave it down here. So this is the platform where you can process your models more easily, so you have, you have all, the, all the different parts here. So you can set up your, your resin boxes nice and easy. Um, let's see what else we have in this one. It's a zip lock bag, so you can close it again. So we have some tubes here for cleaning. And we have a scrape, so you can clean the build plates. The build platform, I should say. Let's see what else we have. We have a small net. Which I'm unsure what's supposed to. Ah, there's a cage here that you can build. Um, yeah, some foam pads. Interesting. And you have the two other parts here for this this little cart here. So you're actually going to use this for some sort of I'm guessing rinsing. Rinse how to rinse your model. And you have a pack pad. Um, so it's a cleaning wipe. You shouldn't open this until you're you have to use it. Um, there's another cleaning, cleaning um, um, pad, and we have what else? We have a tweezer, and we have a, a clipper, clipper tool. I'm not sure what it's called actually. Um, and that's it. That's everything in the in the black bag. And then we have the gloves here. I'm not going to count all of them. It's a big, heavy bag of gloves. So let's just put those things away so we can look at the machine. So I'm guessing this this is a quite important paper to, to keep for the for all of these accessories. So let's see here uh, if we can fit everything in frame. So here we have the printer. Um, I'm pretty sure we open it here so let's uh, let's try to do that. Unless everything is gonna just pop out. Let's go down here. This is when I realized there's a no cutting sign on that. No, it's not. It's okay. So let's see what's inside. We have there's something here. Interesting. I'm just gonna cut this open. And let's see what this is. So what do we have here? We have the power supply. That's it. Okay, so there's just a power supply and it's also USB cable. Uh, so this one is actually UK power supply, but for our printers here in, in Sweden, we supply the EU plug. So from Creative Tools, you also get this, the EU cable as well. So there we go, I'm not sure if it's possible to open this, but let's try. Um, maybe I can turn it a little bit, so there we go. 
the cardboard box, not interesting. Here's some information about quick start, how to start up your printer. That's, that's pretty good, let's keep that. And also safety, how to properly um, remove the packaging. So let's... I'm actually looking at this and you're supposed to pick it up from the box, not like this. So I'm actually gonna pull down the chinur. Yep, I'm gonna just pop down the box and remove the uh, printer. One retainer. Let's move that. And voila! Here we have the goodie, the machine itself. Huh, interesting. And an empty box. So that's it, that's the machine. Let's see what's, where's the front. Uh, there's the front. So let's remove the packaging tape. Which is... Nice. Have some more tape here on the back. Some tape around the machine. Here we go. Here's some more tape. It's a really good, good tape. It doesn't leave any residue. That's really nice. Oops. So there we go. Unless there's also some tape underneath here. Just remove that. Like so. And there you have it. Let's see if we can somehow open this machine. Ah, this opens like this. Nice. Really nice. Okay, and here's you have some attention. Your resin tan contains delicate optical surfaces, which means don't put your fingers on it. Uh, when cleaning, gently remove cured resin with a secret... No, sorry, with a scraper. With a secret stable scraper. Keep fill uh, to the indicator lines, which I can't see right now. So I'm guessing this is just a plastic cover. Um, so let's remove it. Do we not touch clear underside of tank? I will not. Let's remove this tape here. And then we can remove this cover. And there you have the container. Um, so I'm guessing that's all we can do on the unboxing. There's also tape here, which I will remove carefully, I guess. Or rather not carefully um, so I'm guessing this is all I will do until we'll actually um, start out the machine so let's just close this up here and take that down Thanks for watching.